In this video, I designed a custom LEGO Marvel Secret Invasion set based on the final battle scene. I've included four unique characters and two variant minifigures, all designed using official LEGO parts to include in the set with some recolors. Now, Secret Invasion was a Marvel Studios series, meaning we will most likely never see a set for it, besides the fact that the show was four and a half hours worth of hot garbage. The LEGO Marvel CMF series may feature some of these characters in the future, but for now, I've got these six figure designs for the series. So I started with Nick Fury and I would have given him the Spidey Noir outfit but it wasn't available on Bricklink Studio so I found a similar outfit. Fury used multiple looks throughout the series but this is the outfit he wore in episode 6 with the dark red hat and the dark gray beard. Gaia was a fun character to design and I'm really happy with the final product. I used short sleeves to show off that slimy scroll skin. The torso is fairly accurate to the black jacket outfit from episode 6. The Talos headpiece isn't available on studio as well so I used part 10227 instead. You still get that weird alien vibe and the extended ears. I included a human version of Gaia as well so you could swap the pieces out at any time representing the scroll ability to shapeshift. This hairpiece actually ended up being great for the human Gaia. I gave the figure a Drax arm and an ice spear for one hand uh, kind of as it was seen in that final scene versus Gravik. I've included some trans orange energy elements with the set as well since the final fight scene involved a lot of the Captain Marvel powers. Of course I had to include Gravik in the final fight scene. Gravik mostly used Hulk, Cole Obsidian, and Groot powers. All were heavy hitters. So I gave him one Cole Obsidian or Abomination arm and I gave him one Groot arm with a vine accessory in Dark Tan. He was shirtless in the scene so the torso works well with a recolor to match the scroll skin tone. I think it's a fun idea to have extra figure parts to use different powers even though LEGO would never advise people to take minifigures apart. Sonya Fallsworth is a new character in the MCU and I really enjoyed every scene she was in. I may even say she was the best part of this whole series. Sonya was always in a full red outfit with a scarf and I thought the old chef torso in dark red worked out nicely. I gave her a grey bun and a revolver so she can go full badass on some scrolls. Now that we've checked out the figures, I'll show off the build here. I've called this set the Super Scroll Showdown, quite catchy if I say so myself. When it comes to LEGO Marvel, I always just want the figures, the villains, and the fight scenes, and that's what I came up with for this scene. I have two main areas littered with rubble from fighting. The areas are separate builds, so you can move everything around however you want. Both builds contain smash out walls, so you can throw the figures through them easily. I also included turntables on each platform, so you can perform wrestling moves with the minifigures. There are several items scattered around that the figures can use to hit each other with as well. I scattered jumpers around the build so that you can display the minifigures or the three fire pieces that I included with the set to make things a little bit more dramatic. The area that the final episode takes place in is full of industrial buildings, scaffolding, and pipes everywhere. I included the metal storage container to expand the scene without adding too many pieces into the budget. The pipes were a bit more tricky though, and although I have built some downspouts in my actual LEGO City with Technic pieces, I wanted to showcase a retired piece that LEGO really needs to bring back. This is the 1 by one by one and 2 thirds round brick that's never been used in this way, and I really think that this brick has so many possibilities. Overall, I'm quite happy with the set, especially since it's my first design ever, besides the tutorial there on Bricklink Studio. Let me know what you think of this set, the minifigures, or the idea of having more terrain builds like this in LEGO sets, similar to the in-game final battle or the Spider-Man final battle sets that we just got. I appreciate you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and hit the like button to let me know that you enjoyed this type of content on the channel. Thanks again. Have a good one.